follows the revenue from selling x fire marbles as given by the function below. R of x is negative 2x squared plus 40x plus x. Pot A. I think this is a thick marker. It is. We have a lot of room, so we can get away with it. Find and interpret R of 10 minus R of 9. How doth we find R of 10? Plug it in. So if you want to use the table command in your calculator, go right ahead. And same thing with R of 9. Oh, that's not a 9. Now it is. I am not editing that out. In fact, we're going to give it polka dots. That's pretty. Either that or has the measles. What is R of 10? 206. Can I almost confirm that? Good. What is R of 9? 204. And what's their difference? 2. So that's the find. We found it to be 2. What's the interpretation? Which, which marble? Yeah, this is the revenue from selling the 10th marble. It's like students who stalk me at night because I give them more homework to do. So they, uh, right, so R of 10 means by itself the revenue from the first 10. R of 9 means the revenue from the first 9. So if you subtract the first 9 from the first 10, then you're just left with the 10th. Is that okay? And that's part A. Okay, so let's do part B. How do we find R prime of 10? What do we first find? Oh, excuse me, I, how do we find R prime of 9? What do we first do? Find R prime of X, yeah, the derivative. What is R prime of X? So R prime of 9 is negative, uh, not negative, positive what? 4. So who wants to interpret this one? Well, remember, a derivative is a rate of change. And since our derivative is a positive number, namely 4, that means revenue is what? Increasing by per when the ninth is sold. There we go. We should have filled the blank answers. <laughs> Math ad libs. Yes, this is, this is saying that revenue is increasing by $4 per marble when the ninth marble is sold. Another way of saying that is you could say that the approximate revenue from the tenth marble is 4 bucks. That's the next one. So notice, relatively speaking, 2 is close to 4. 2 is the actual difference And four is the approximate. So what we've seen in several projects, worksheets, yada yada, is you can use the derivative to approximate other values. It is good for short-term approximations, not long-term approximations. Meaning that if we try to approximate the 30th fire marble, we're going to be way off because 30 is quite a distance away from 9, relatively speaking. 